all right guys so jumping straight into the tutorial i'm just i'm coming up my hair to get out any tangles my hair is kind of stretched and it's clean as well so i'm going to take my comb and i'm just going to start parting out like kind of like a sketch work for um this style as you guys saw from the intro i'm gonna have um one braid in front of my head and then two braids on the side so i'm just kind of like mapping that out and then i'm gonna go off camera because it's really hard to part my hair on camera i'm not even gonna lie i'm gonna go off camera and clean up the parts as you guys can see and i also did the braid in the middle just to keep the two sections away from each other now i'm taking my shine and jam from magic fingers i absolutely love this it helps me when i'm doing like braided hairstyles and i'm just going to be applying this to this first section that i'm going to be braiding down i'm just applying it to the top and the bottom and i'm also going to be using my brush um to just like smooth it in now i'm taking out that section in front so i can start my braid and if you don't know how to braid you guys honestly um maybe i'll make a tutorial one day but for now i'm just gonna start doing the braid um if you can't braid maybe you can try flat twist that'll be really really cute as well um so i'm just going to be doing that first braid on the side of my hair i don't know how to stitch but i really feel like a stitch braid would have been very cute um but yeah once i'm done with that braid i'm just gonna braid it down and i'm gonna move on to the next section So for this next section i'm doing the exact same thing i'm just applying that shine and jam i'm also using my parting comb just to like smoothen out the part for any parts that don't look like too straight i'm just like cleaning up the part a bit and yeah i'm putting the shine and jam both at the front and at the back you want the braid to be really sleek so you want to just make sure that the shine and jam is all around the edges of um your hair and then i'm just like detangling my hair and i'm gonna start doing that braid in the front as well you guys i've had this style saved on my pinterest board for like over a year at this point i've always wanted to try it out but i've just been a little like scared would i be able to make it look nice you know like just braiding my hair without any extensions but i think it came out really really cute if i just say so myself So now that i'm done with the braid i'm going to start putting my hair at the back into a ponytail so i'm just gathering my hair and i'm going to be taking this gel from adan edet i'm just going to use that to sleek my hair down um if you want your hair to be super sleek i always tell you guys this in all my videos then make sure you do it in sections but because i'm going to be using a ponytail over i didn't really care for it being too sleek so i'm just applying that gel on my hair i'm going to put this in a loose ponytail at first so that i can actually brush it and just get it to look nice as you guys can see here and then after that i'm going to go ahead and like clean up my edges a bit and then i'm going to put it into a tighter ponytail So now that my hair is in that ponytail my hair is looking real nice it's looking real sleek it's looking real shiny i'm just going to go ahead to braid that section of my hair that's left out just so it's protected it's not just like hanging out and also so it's small enough for me to like put the ponytail over so i'm just using an elastic band to just hold it in place now i'm taking this mousse just to use and like set the hair i'm putting it over like the braided areas and the part that i slicked down and then i'm going to take my scarf and i'm just going to tie my hair down and leave it overnight to set so this is the next day and my hair is completely set it's looking really really nice as you guys can see i got my nails done <laughs> because my birthday was coming up anyways i'm gonna take this ponytail from better length hair you guys i've had this ponytail for so long and i'm so obsessed with the quality like i've used it for so many styles if you've watched my videos you'll see this is what the ponytail looks like i'll have all the specs to this ponytail as well as links to where you can buy it in the description box below so make sure you check that out um i'm just gonna comb this out a bit because i wanted it to be full and now i'm just going to apply it to my hair just the regular way you apply your drawstring ponytails is very easy very quick you have it on your hair in less than two minutes you guys and it adds so much volume it just upgrades the hairstyle it makes it look even more chic more like put together so now i'm just taking that drawstring and i'm going to wrap it around the base of the ponytail um if you want you can use a bobby pin but i don't really like to use bobby pins um now i'm just going to take a piece of the hair from the ponytail as well just to conceal um that drawstring so that you can't like see the string around the base 
and yeah that's pretty much it when i get to the end i just tuck the rest of the hair underneath i don't use any bobby pins and the ponytail stays in place it's very secure it doesn't move anywhere so you guys can see the hairstyle looks gorgeous i'm just fluffing it out a bit and this is the finished look let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle if you like it please definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check the description box for all the links that you need to purchase this hair as well as my discount code and i'll see you guys in my next video bye